So when I first started going to the gym, you know, maybe I was like a year to even two years in, I would look at my progress, I'd look in the look look in the mirror at my physique, and then I would go on Instagram and look at these dudes on Instagram, like these top 0.1% male physiques, absolute specimens, and I would just be so disheartened, uh, you know, with my results. And I was thinking, you know, why don't I look like that yet? Why am I not seeing progress? Oh, is it because of my genetics? Or maybe I'm a hard gainer? Or maybe I'm not cut out for this? Or maybe, you know, my mind is getting going all very, very creative, thinking of millions and millions of excuses as to why I wasn't seeing the results uh, that I wanted and as, as to why I wasn't looking like these other guys looked online. But I missed a really critical, critical piece of information and that was, I was simply just still new to this. I was, you know, one, two years in. And these guys had been doing this for five, six, ten, even, maybe even more than ten years. You know, so I was comparing my beginning to someone's, uh, not end, but someone who's much further along, okay? And that's really what this video is about, is the importance of thinking for the long term. I made a, a video yesterday on the importance of uh, celebrating small wins. This is kind of a follow-on video from that. Okay, now the problem is we live in a time of instant gratification. Everything's got to be now, 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 you know, like we've got TikTok and Instagram with the reels and the five second videos and it's just frying our dopamine receptors. We order food, it's got to be here now, 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 now. And what that's doing is just shortening our attention span and it makes us expect that everything in life should be now 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 but the problem is right is that any worthwhile goal achieving anything that you want whether it's getting in the best shape of your life whether it's building a sick physique whether it's building a business whether it's becoming the, in the, the top of your game in a sport or a career or something like that it takes a very long time years and years and years and years and years in the making but with this short-term mindset that most of us have right now you're just never gonna get there, okay? And that is the importance of playing the long game. Because building a strong physique is a marathon, not a sprint, okay? Starting a business is a marathon, not a sprint. Whatever you want, if it's something, if it's a worthwhile goal that you want to achieve, it's gonna take a very long time, okay? So the more you can um, just find pleasure in the journey along the way rather than striving to reach the destination because I had the mindset of I just wanted to get there now I just wanted that thing now and what that caused me to do is just quit so many things there's so many different businesses that I tried over the years that I just quit because you know I tried for a week and didn't get results and then I was just told myself oh you know maybe the market isn't right or maybe this isn't right or this thing or that thing you know, our minds are very creative when it comes to coming up with excuses as to why we can't do a certain thing. But most of it, most of the time, it just boils down to um, quitting too soon. And I talked about this yesterday, but there's only two things you need to guarantee success, okay? Just two things, that is it. And that number one is not quitting, okay? All you gotta do first of all is just figure out a way how you can not quit. Now, if you go into a task expecting to get immediate returns and you don't get those returns well you're far more likely to quit like me going to the gym and expecting uh, to have a sick physique after just doing it for a few months or a year or a couple of years it's unrealistic that's never going to happen okay and it's the same in business if you start a business and you don't get to 10k a month after a month and you feel like quitting well the the problem is just the mindset and the way you're approaching it but instead of having that desire to want everything now, have a desire to enjoy the journey along the way. Because whenever you reach a goal, which, uh, you know, has taken, taken a lot of hard work, you always look back at that goal with like admiration for the journey. Now, even at the time, it was really hard and it was really tough. And there were, there's probably many times where you didn't think that you were having fun. But once you get there and look back, you're kind of grateful for those hard times and you're almost a little bit nostalgic about uh, you know 
those tough times, okay? So the more you can enjoy the journey and the more you can enjoy every single step along the way, the less likely you are to quit. Now, if you're having fun uh, and you're not quitting and you're thinking for the long term, well, then all you gotta do is just improve, okay? That's step number two of guaranteeing success is always improve, but if you're having fun, naturally you're going to want to improve that thing over time because human beings just naturally we don't like to lose at anything okay so just don't quit have fun along the way and always improve okay and it's really that simple and another point which leads into this is i heard this uh, a while ago and it's just been stuck in my head is that hard choices easy life easy choices hard life okay so either we can choose to do the hard things now, maybe it's going to the gym, maybe it's following a nutrition plan, maybe it's working on our business, maybe it's uh, you know, studying after work or school or whatever. You know, we can choose to do the hard things now so that we can live uh, an easy life or we can make the easy decisions now, the easy choices like playing video games or smoking weed or porn or you know, whatever devices that you have um, then you're going to end up with a hard life, okay? Easy choices, sorry, hard choices, easy life, easy choices, hard life. And if you understand that concept and then you just ingrain the goal that you've got, like the, the goal that you have, you know, whether it's, you know, whatever goal that you want to achieve right now, ingrain it in your head, like have it, write it down every single day, actually. Uh, there's a good book. Uh, called the 10x rule by Grant Cardone really good book actually I definitely recommend that you read it but in the book Grant talks about a lot of things but the big idea is that people um, you know severely don't set goals big enough number one because they want to set a realistic goal but number two is they severely underestimate the amount of effort required to achieve that goal so what he talks about is you should set a goal which is 10x bigger than what you think is realistic because chances are you're not thinking big enough anyway. I know, f for example, for myself, I had a goal for years to just to get to 10k a month. I thought if I just get to 10k a month, I'm going to be sweet, I'm going to be happy, life's going to be amazing, uh, you know, life's going to be perfect. I just 10k a month, that is it, that'll do me, I'm good. Anyway, I get to 10k a month and I'm like... <laughs> this is not enough no way no way at all okay and i realized i was just thinking too small okay so you got a, th a big idea from the book is just thinking bigger uh, so you set a goal which is 10x bigger than you deem uh realistic right now but then you you have to work out well what are the actions required to hit this goal well, it's gonna require 10x actions because most people overestimate what they can do in a month, in a week or a month, and severely underestimate what they can do in a year or a decade, right? But if you have the mindset of the long term, if you're thinking like, okay, uh, like for example, when I went back to the gym in 2017, 2018, I made a decision there and then that I was gonna do this for the rest of my life. Okay, I was going to do some form of exercise, some form of working out. It might not always be weightlifting, but I'm going to do some form of exercise for the rest of my life. So, and I've not quit now. Well, why? Because I'm just enjoying the process. I'm enjoying doing it every single day. It's a part of my life now. It's very easy for me to do. In fact, it's harder for me to not go to the gym than it is to go to the gym. And I'm not, I'm not waking up every single day, you know, looking at my progress and thinking, oh, you know, why am I not here yet? Because I'm just enjoying the journey. And funnily enough, by doing that and having that mindset, I now have better results than I've ever had before, okay? So another idea from the 10x rule that Grant talks about is writing your goals down every day. So I did this for a while. Admittedly, I don't do it right now, but this is a really good practice to do is uh, he just had like a journal or he had like a little book, uh, a legal pad that every single morning he would wake up and write his goals down, his big goals. You know, maybe it's like, I don't know. I don't know. His goals are pretty big, but you know become a billionaire or whatever. Uh, be in perfect health, have a nice, happy family. And you just like the big, big goals that he really cares about, about his health and his wealth and his relationships and all that stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. He would write them down <coughs> every single day. 
And what that does is it kind of ingrains it into your head, you know, it gets it embedded in there that this is the main focus, this is the main goal, and just go after those things. Because uh, another way people really mess up is they just have too many desires, they're chasing too many goals. I don't know whether you've ever heard uh, the saying, chase two rabbits, catch none. Well, if you try and catch two rabbits, you're not gonna catch any, and it's the same with your goals. Like, avoid having too many big goals. Now, one objection or one uh, conversation that I have with young guys sometimes is, oh yeah, uh, I want to get I want to get jacked, but I I need to get my money right first. What you don't realize, is if you're in this situation, is you can easily do both at the same time. It's not a either or. You can do both because to get jacked and to get in the best shape of your life, it takes about an hour a day. That's it, an hour maximum. That probably that includes like your training. Uh, or maybe a little bit more for nutrition, but say not like 90 minutes a day. And that's all your nutrition and your training done. And you can get jacked. So then you've got the rest of the day to focus on paying your bills right now and building a business and leveling up your life and whatever. So it's definitely not either or, but avoid having too many goals. Avoid chasing too many rabbits. Just have like main big goals that you want to achieve and just understand that realistically it's probably going to take a long time if it doesn't take a long time well it's not going to be a goal that's worth having in the first place you know anything that comes easy just doesn't have much value okay so if you want to chase like a, a valuable goal something that's scarce something that a lot of people don't have for example like a six pack and a good physique well it's going to take a long time and if you can find a way to enjoy every single step, if you can celebrate the small wins, if you can have the perception that this is gonna take a long time and I'm in it for the long, long game, you will stay in the game long enough to let your results compound over time. So there's a, there's a saying uh, or a concept from like the financial markets, which is called compound interest. And it's with regards to like saving money, is you save money and you earn interest. And if you let that interest uh, build up over time well gradually the amount of uh, money that you're earning in interest builds up over time and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger right it's the same uh, compound interest doesn't just apply to financial markets okay it applies to everything it applies to business the longer you stick with one business eventually over time it will compound and the returns will get exponential the longer you stay in the gym and stay onto your nutrition and fitness your results will compound over time to the point where you'll look back after 10 years and you'll be in phenomenal shape okay it's the same in relationships you get way more out of a relationship that you've had for 10 years than you get out of a relationship that you've had for a week right so just stay in the game long enough don't quit always improve and just think long term if you're starting a new task right now or maybe there's some goal that you're chasing right now just change your perspective instead of wanting it right now ask yourself how can i enjoy this journey instead of rushing to the de destination how can i enjoy this journey every single day and i promise you you will eventually end up at your destination anyway all right guys hope this helps you can head to jamesweetland.com for coaching and i'll talk to you in the next one